5, jump game 2. We're given an array of non-negative integers. We are initially positioned at the first index. And each name in the array represents your maximum jump length at that position. So well, like at this position, I can jump to here or here. My goal is to reach the last index of the minimum number of jumps. So I think this is not that hard. It's just a, a typical dynamic problem. So if I can know the minimum number of jumps to this to this point, I can find the possibilities of uh, the minimum jump length to the point within the length from this point plus the, the number of this point. I mean, if I can come to this point with a minimum of 1, then I can get the, the points within the distance of 3. So here, 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 with all two step right but they it's just a uh, possibly it's just a one possible solution I can maybe do jump directly to the point here with some points with some points before three right so that's just a, a simple dynamic problem say dp equals nums uh, no array initialize the string let's fill number pa pa positive infinity okay so for let i equals to a smaller than nums i plus plus Okay, so we take the step. Oh, the first one is zero, so I say dp zero should be zero. So for each, for each, and I can assume that there are always a, a solution. So. I don't have to care for the cases that I cannot so for some point that I cannot reach. So for each point, I will update the 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 the, the points within the range of the value of this point. So, okay, for it, k equals uh, i uh, i plus one k smaller than uh, I plus nums I K plus plus for these po each point we'll update them so at dpk equals math mean because it's only one possible possible minimum steps minimum step so it should be dpk and dp i plus one right yeah and finally we return oh it should be careful about the overflow k must be smaller than nums length also return dp nums dot length minus one I hope it works undefined what oh length man infinity what or infinity so zero K start from one. Let's console log dp. Zero one two 
to yeah one two ah equal or equal god you need to take more care on the boundary let's test the code it uh, should work I think about time complexity wow it's very slow anyway uh, the Time should be for each uh, if every time we can jump to the jump to the end our solution that our solution actually checks checks every uh, point for every round like for two for for, for here one two three four and here one two three so actually it's gonna be o n square the time complexity how could we improve now we need to analyze the the analyze the analyze the example like here first we get zero Dot, right yeah and then we update it to zero one 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 then one one two 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 and then oh yeah we can actually stop we don't need to for loop the to the all the the, the, the numbers right once we get we can just re return oh yeah if k is equal to nums dot nth minus one we return we return here return dp k now we can print, print the unnecessary checks If k equal ah, there's a typo here. God. Hmm? Still undefined. What? Yeah, nice. Zero zero smaller than uh, I zero smaller than one so K plus uh huh oh yeah um there's a case that K is overflowed yeah this is just a special case if Nums dot nth equals one. We return zero. Yeah. Submit again. Still, it's just so slow. Why? Hmm. Could we make it faster? To, I think there's no such things I mean improvement right uh, so three three one one four aha uh -huh. actually we could
I found that uh, actually the numbers after each number could actually be just uh, be ah no yeah we we can skip the cases like this one for this one because it's one even is like like uh, like two like like one for here even you add to two it doesn't add to the it doesn't add to the this number four you can all only get this number so actually you can be skipped yeah that would be which means which means Which means actually we can start from the last index, last ending position of the check. Like if you get uh, get to the mac uh, far farthest ending point to here, like right, and then we check the point of is two. It cannot get farther. So we don't need to update the numbers here or here. We just to be skipped. Yeah. Okay, let's keep a flag of that last farthest equals. A zero. Oh, there's no need to check this one. There's actually it's in the in the array. So every time we check a point, this one, this is the point. I is bigger than one zero, okay, and uh, and nums I okay. Nums i i plus nums i one two three yeah if it is smaller than if it is smaller or equal to the previous one like i minus one plus nums i minus one if this is true we can just continue yeah right this is the characteristic we deduct from this uh, example like for these two because 2 plus 2 is this one but actually it is covered by these three so there's no chance that you can get 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 uh, get there's no chance that you could be the uh, to be the best uh, solution let's submit to see that if we are improved oh yeah so you see we are though we're not the fastest but we have improved a lot we have almost run half uh, top ranked of half of the solutions what's the time complexity mm, actually time complexity
the time complexity? Well, it's hard to say, but uh, the for loop doesn't change anything. It's based. It's depends on the the input. Let's say for the worst case th that we check for every for uh, for every f we check for every uh, po every point, and these continue cakes cannot be matched. So we have still we got the worst case. Yeah, the time complex doesn't change, but averagely we have improved a lot, I think. Mm, that's all I can think for now. So yeah, that's all for this problem. See you next time. Bye bye.